Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wisconsin State Roleplay. I'm Jimmy Long here at the Burger Shack, about to get me something to drink. I just got El Jonas so long ago. Oh shit, what the fuck? Did that guy just fucking. Who the fuck just hit my truck, man? The fuck? The fuck? Who just hit my truck out there? No, they can't be. No, I need me a burger. Come on, you guys can't let this guy in, man. That's my neighbor, man. I need a burger. Alright, whatever. Uh, do you guys got any spicy chicken sandwiches? Um, let's get a fucking burger. Alright, here you go. Here's the $10. It'll be out in a few minutes. Hey, right. hurry up. Hey, what the? No. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, let what, me, what are you let doing me, here? Let me get seven spicy chicken sandwiches. What the hell are you doing here? Four double burgers. Hold on, bud. I'm ordering. Uh, I'll take you fucking two piece extra, of shit. You two sent me to jail. Oh, this, hey. This, hey, this guy said he wants one of those waters. Uh, no, what the fuck? Um, also, I guess I'll take some, like, seven crazy tenders over there. Uh... Let me get two tacos as well. I'm gonna try and, to push uh, you. No, I'm not gonna try to hit you. I'm gonna try to push you. Oh, no. oh hey! What the fuck's going on? Hey man, what the fuck is your problem? Your you sent me to jail, you piece of shit. I ain't sending it. Yeah, you're fuck. I'm I'm Jimmy Long. Jimmy Long. Yeah, fucking felon. Did you call the cops? Yeah, earlier, uh, but then we oh, left. Man. You should hit me as soon as I walk in. No, you hit me, you're uh, drunk. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, man. I just want oh my, my fucking food. I don't know. Hey, guys, what's going on? This guy, this guy hit me, man. I was just trying to order food and he fucking Eric, hit can me. Eric, can I talk to one of you guys? Yeah, hey, let's go this way. Hey, brother, true brother. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, so, like, uh, I was here getting me a spicy chicken sandwich meal. I just recently got out of jail. We, me, me and this guy, we were at bars the other day. And he kept on finding me. He's my neighbor. He threatened to kill me three times, and he found me again, and he came and hit my truck. They, and then he came in all drunk, and he tried saying he didn't hit my truck. And I said, I saw you hit my truck when you were trying to park, dude. And then he was sitting there trying to tell me that he doesn't, he doesn't know what's going on, and he tried, like, hitting me. Hey, guys, I'm going to need you guys back up. I'm talking with them. Okay. Uh, and uh, did this all take place over here in the parking lot of the burger shop? Yeah, basically I was inside getting a burger. He came up, hit my car a few times, and he backed out, hit it a few times. He was trying to park perfectly or whatever, but every time that he kept on backing out, he hit it a few times and scraped it. Then he came in, and he and he, you could tell he's drunk. A little bit. So I don't even know why he's driving, and I just got out of jail, and I didn't want to run into him again, and I did, and I'm trying to find me a new place to move today, and I don't know. That, uh, just, what is that I do? I have no idea. Why is he trying to get into the drive through Yeah, I think he's trying to get in the drive through oh, no, that, that didn't happen. I did not pull that out. Okay. If you just want to sit tight over Keep here, him. I'm assuming this truck behind me is yours. Yeah, the white one, yeah, that's the one he hit. Okay. Yeah, this one right uh, here with the stuff in the back, that was his that he pulled up in. If you just want to go stand over and buy my squad over Yeah, there, sure. The one. I'll be right here. Man, I don't know what the fuck's going on over here. These guys are fucking doing some weird shit. Yeah, 
Say that again. You want to go through with uh, with trooper stated? Oh yes, sir. Okay. All right, sir. Can I have you uh, face away from me and place your hands behind your back? Oh uh, sure, you. man. What's going on? At the moment, you're being detained. Uh, the trooper here will explain more. All right, you can just pop the squad right. There. All right. I'm gonna yeah, search you down here. You got anything on you? Guns, weapons, grenades? Nah, I just got my ID, man. How's that sound? Uh, it's hey there, a lot better. Chief, you wanna wanna go and stand with him over there? Sure can. Are you in state, uh, Mr. Long? Yeah, I'm I'm in state, man. All right, sounds good. If you wanna just take a seat right here. Yeah, sure. I'll take a seat. Oh. Oops. Hardy, how you doing, sir? I'm Trooper Marlin, the Wisconsin State Police Department. How's it going, man? It's going, so I'm just going to check out your face and your knuckles for any sort of, you know, injuries or anything like that, okay? Uh, yeah, okay. They should look fine. I don't see any bruises on me. Okay. Can I get your rundown of the story, if you don't mind? So basically, I got out of jail today uh, because, well, I went to jail the other day. I was at a bar, and then this guy showed up, and then me and him got to a fight, so we got kicked out. Then we went to another bar. He happened to follow me there, and then I went to jail that night. He was in cuffs at first, but then I got in the cuffs and went to jail. Then after I went to jail, I just got out today. Came here, I was getting me some food, and then he shows up drunk, backs and forth, hits my car a few times, and then he comes in drunk as hell, and he's just talking all this shit, talking about he wants to fight me, and that he wants to do this, and he's telling me to fuck off, get out of the way, and I was trying to order my food. Okay, and you didn't uh, start any sort of physical altercation or nothing like that? No, I, I, I just I just told him, I said, hey, dude, I'm trying to get my food, and he, he was acting all drunk, and I could barely understand him. Okay. Is is that the full truth? And be honest with me. Yeah, it's the full truth, man. I'm telling you the truth. I mean, I've had problems with this guy. I just got out of jail, and I don't want to go back. Okay. Just hang tight right there, okay? Don't go nowhere, all right? Don't get yourself in any more trouble. All right, I won't. Really? That was the fastest I have ever seen CCTV. Uh, my partner. Yeah. So we can do this one of two ways. So the first way is you can press charges for assault. However, that's also going. Okay. However, that is also most likely going to come with some kind of charges. All right, partner, go and hop up for me. All right, man. All right, you can you can face me. Okay. 
So you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you say cannot be held against you in the court of law. You do have the right to an attorney. Now have the money to afford an attorney. Won't be appointed to you by the state of Wisconsin. At any point in time, you wish questioning to stop and a lawyer to be present. You may ask for one, and the questioning will immediately be halted. With these rights in mind, you wish to speak with me and my officers. Yeah, sure. I'll speak with you guys. Okay, do you understand your rights? This is a requirement that you answer this question. All I need is a yes or no. This will not be held against you. Okay. Sir, do you understand your rights? Yeah, I understand them, man. Yes, I understand my rights, man. Okay. So, like I explained to the other gentleman, um, we're going to do this one of two ways. The first way is nobody presses charges. The second way is people are going to be pressing charges, and he wants to press charges for assault. Well, if he's, and, if he's pressing charges for assault, obviously he's drunk and he hit my car, so I want him to go to jail for drunk driving, and plus he vandalized my car. He is? No, he absolutely is. We're just taking this one step at a time, so... You you do want to press charges for property damage? Am I getting that correct? Yep, if he's pressing charges on me, I'm pressing charges on him. Fantastic. Okay, just go and sit tight for me, okay? Alrighty. Cough him, cough him. Come on. I don't see it. Cough him. Can't hear shit over there. A few moments later. <laughs> He's crawling. <laughs> I'm not. I'm just I'm stretching, man. <laughs> I'm just stretching, man. <laughs> while operating a vehicle, striking vehicles. Fuck yeah, fucking felon. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take my guy. If if you I am um, destruction of private property, personal whatever, hit and run. He hit the news truck. Oops, car locked. So was the guy drunk? Not legally, however, he is over intoxicated to be operating a motor vehicle. Um, 
due to a lovely thing called officer's discretion, we have the ability to judge if you are over impaired enough to operate a vehicle, if you um, pose an immediate threat to public and safety and health and well-being and all of that good stuff. Um, we have pro probable cause to arrest somebody. Yeah, something funny I want to tell you about. He was saying that he's never been drunk up here before, but my dad saw him the other day steal my truck and try to vandalize it, and he wrecked it, and I, my dad just got it out of the shop, and he was telling cops that he went to kill me and whatnot. And this is like, I think, he, like yesterday or something like that. Several bad puns later. Good lord. Yep, and I heard him out there saying that I'd never been drunk only in Wisconsin. I heard that. I'm like, no, my dad just picked me up from prison today and said that he called the cops on him because he saw him driving my truck and I was supposed to stay at the Yellow Jack and my dad was going to go pick it up, but apparently he went and got it before my dad did. And he wrecked it. Have you thought it. about filing a restraining order? Well, see, the thing is, the last cops told us that, but see, the problem is, he's my next door neighbor, so. And I'm actually looking to move. Well, you can still file a restraining order even if they are there, even if you uh, are their next door neighbor. Yeah, I want one. I want one filed if that could be done. Yeah. I, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, I just I, he's been following me since Ventura, and then he followed me to L.A., then he followed me here, then I went to went uh, Indiana for like the summer, and then he showed up in Indiana and he tried stabbing me not once, twice, but three times out in Indiana. Well, one time he tried stabbing me here, and then I was in critical condition, almost died, but I was able to be saved. My, that sounds like a rough time. It does, and he keeps fall the the last cop I talked to before he arrested me the last time. He had told me that it seems like this guy keeps following you, and everywhere I go, well, there he is, and it's like a coincidence, like weird. Yeah, I didn't catch your name. Do you uh, mind telling me? Yeah, Jimmy Long. I gave it to I gave my ID to one of the officers. I don't know who I gave it to. Yeah, it wasn't me. I just needed to grab that from you. Yeah, someone has it. I'll get it back when I go to jail and whatnot. Alright, give me a second. Yep. All right, so here's what I got. So this information right here is a request for a restraining order. So what you're going to do is on this front page right here, you're going to go ahead and sign your name. On this line, you're going to initial, you're going to date at the bottom. So what this is going to tell you is this is just stating that you are aware and acknowledging the fact that you also cannot violate this restraining order, seeing how you are putting in for it. You are also aware of the fact that the judicial system is at no time obligated to um, approve this request for any sort of reasons of, you know, just faking it and just trying to be a dickhead. Um, on the back of this page right here, you're also going to sign right there. You're going to initial on both of those little boxes right there. You're also going to print your name and date right there at the bottom. And this is just a consent waiver stating that you are also aware of the liabilities of what's going to happen to him and yourself after the restraining order. Obviously, um, nothing is going to happen to you if you do not violate it. Um, but if you are the violator in question, then obviously you'll be taken in for a violation of restraining order. All right. There you go, man. All right, perfect. And I will get that sent away for you, and I'll get that filed, all right? All right, I appreciate that, man. Absolutely, sir. Yeah, I'm just, the guy, the guys, to be honest with you, I'm getting kind of scared and dread for my life because he keeps on following me and showing up everywhere I go for some reason. Yeah, it's understandable. Um, I will give you one key word of advice. If he does violate the restraining order, do not um, instigate the situation. Just call 911, distance yourself from the situation, stay away. Don't try, you know, involve yourself with him. Do your best to just stay away, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm definitely doing that. I'm going to be looking for a new house when I get out. Good deal. All right. Enjoy your time in jail, all right? All righty, man. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Jimmy Long is in jail. Um, yeah, so screw uh, Gene Davis. Uh, he tried to trump me up with some charges. Yes, I did hit him. 
and yes they check CCTV although it's weird because I was told in the server before that they are not going to do CCTV anymore unless you're recording and whatnot and well there they did it CCTV so as I say it is what it is the server changes the rules and certain cops do this and do that but I went to jail and as long as Gene went to jail I'm, that's a good day for me. So other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I'm in jail. Gene's in jail. Fuck that neighbor. And if I ever catch him again, or I find out where he's living, I'm burning that fucking house down. I'm going to do something to him. Although there's a restraining order, but I know I got to go back to Indiana when I get out. And I got to take care of some stuff out there. Hopefully I don't run into the guy. If I do in the future, I'll find out where the motherfucker lives. If he's still living in the same place and if he's there. Well, his house is getting burned down. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'm out, and I'll see you guys next time.